Hi guys, this is Thunder E from Border Work, and today we're taking a look at two of the biggest phablets on the market. I'm talking about the Lumia 1520 and the Galaxy Note 3 to find out which is the better device between uh, Nokia's offering and Samsung's offering on the market. <music> All right, guys, let's uh, start off uh, by, by looking at the differences between the devices, but let's look at the hardware first. So we're going to start off with the Galaxy Note 3. We're going to set the Lumia 1520 aside over there. You can see it a little bit. So this is the Note 3, Samsung's uh, latest device on the market. And now uh, it sports a 5.7 inch display. It's a 1080p display. You can see it's got that um, LED indicator flashing on the top. It's got a front-facing camera here at 1.9 megapixels. Uh, it's got, of course, the home button. This is a 1080p display. Now, uh, this has a faux leather back covering here. And at the back, you've got a 13 megapixel camera. Records a 4K, lower 4K resolution, but 4K nonetheless, with um, LED flash. Now, you can actually remove the back cover, which is one of the great things Samsung states replaceable battery you also have a micro sd card adapter up to 64 gigabytes so you can expand your storage and you can change your uh change your battery if you need to now the whole thing is powered by a snapdragon 800 processor so pretty much what we consider the best processor in the land and it's got three gigabytes of ram which is very very nice the highest any android phone does have in terms of design and trimming you can see it's got that aluminum full aluminum on the around you've got of course the full plastic or leather at the back which gives you a nice premium uh finish to it now this is running android 4.3 uh with uh, touch Wiz on there so you do have uh close to the latest version of android will have android 4.4 very smooth device uh pretty responsive so that is the galaxy note 3 you can pick it up for 299 right now that's the pricing for the device so let's take a look at the lumia 1520. So this is Nokia's latest offering on the market and this spots a six inch display, pretty much a, a, one of the largest displays in the market. Not the first one, but one of the largest and probably one of the best displays. It's a six inch 1080p display that is very, very vibrant and Nokia has says it has 650 nits and it's great outdoors. So if you're outdoors reading, you should, you should really enjoy using this um, uh, using this device. It's got a front-facing camera, 1.9 megapixels. You do have your touch-sensitive buttons at the back. Now, all the power buttons and control buttons are on the side. So you do have your power button in the middle, volume rock on the top, and a dedicated camera button, which is standard with Windows Phone. At the back, Nokia has a 20 megapixel camera. Yes, following the pure view line of cameras, uh, you do have a dual LED flash. You do also have this connector for proprietary uh, wireless charging solution, PMA, on AT&T, or international, it uses a QI uh, solution. Speakers at the bottom here, and this is an all-enclosed polycabinet build, very similar to all the Lumia devices, so you cannot replace the battery. But, luckily, Nokia does allow expandable memory with micro SD card, and this uses a nano SIM, so not a standard SIM, a nano SIM. Which can be annoying for us some, but you know, it's very easy to change your SIM cards nowadays, so that's not a problem. So you can expand the storage here on this device. So that, uh, and this retails for $99 on AT&T. It's not available on all car carriers like the Note 3, but it is pretty much one of the cheapest devices. So uh, let's jump into this battle. So let's talk about a few things here. Let's start off with So now displays. we have our wallpapers change. Uh, let's just take a look at the display for both devices. We're going to do it indoors and we're going to outdoors. We have the same wallpaper, Hawkman and Hawk Girl. So if you want these wallpapers, check out our Pinterest page. Uh, uh, with uh, anime and, and cartoon characters, comic books, we have the wallpapers there for you. So we're going to slide in and, and check it out to see. Right now indoors, they look pretty similar. And I'm going to bring this closer here. So you guys can take a look. Now both at uh, automatic settings here. So you can see they, they do look very similar and everything looks pretty much the same. Sorry for that glare from the flash. And if I take the auto off here and bring the brightness, it still looks the same matching, of course, the uh, Lumia 1520. Where it really shines is uh, in readability as well as um, in, uh, in sunlight. So if we go here and we decide to go to to work here we go it's a shame i actually don't have that on speed dial 
Here we go. Yep. You see, just taking a look at the site and seeing what we get. Let's go into that uh, Qualcomm article. So we have matching articles here. I'm going to turn that off so you guys can see. And you can take a look at which, of course, this has a larger display, so it looks, the imprint's much better, but you can see how natural the white background looks comparison to how this is just very saturated and bright. So I turn the, the brightness back to normal and still the 1520 just looks better. Now let's take this outside and um, take a look at how it looks in direct sunlight. All right, we're outdoors in sunlight. I'm actually providing some shade for both devices here and you can clearly see which actually handles uh, uh, sunlight just much better here. It's the uh, Lumia 1520. Um, you can see it's much more readable. It's actually much better uh, uh, than on camera here. I can actually see it much better. And if I actually, you know, put on auto here, it's actually, it's a little better here on the Galaxy Note 3, but the Lumia 1520 just so, uh, in terms of way. display, the 1520 wins here. It's much better directly in sunlight. I even though the the uh, uh, the Note 3 does a good job, but the 1520 really has that lovely display. Everything pops out. Everything looks natural, and again, you can actually see well in daylight. So that's the one aspect I did like about this device. Now let's talk about the cameras. Now uh, I'm sure if some of you ask, are we going to talk about the operating system? We will to a certain degree, but we're not going to compare Windows Phone and Android. This is not about that because if you're going to decide that, that's an initial decision you take between both of them. So we're talking about cameras here. Both of them have um, interesting cameras. You do have a um, 13 megapixel camera here on the Nokia, uh, on the sorry, on the Galaxy Note 3, and you do have a 20 megapixel camera on the Nokia here. In terms of photo quality, I have to give it to the Lumia 1520. I'm going to attach some sample photos with this so you guys can see, uh, but you, it's clear if you just check out the uh, the Nokia uh, sample video on the top left hand corner, and of course the Galaxy Note. A sample video in the top right hand corner to see which is the better video you can see clearly how they both work nokia takes better photos in 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 low light in 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 direct sunlight it's just much better overall in taking pictures and same bill as you have from the um uh the nokia uh, lumia 50, uh, 1020 the 1520 carries that same tradition now in terms of camera software now this is where you know initially samsung still had the edge here where if you went to the camera app here you do have you had the auto ability you have the different modes where you can switch between modes here and also you have that dual shot uh, camera mode and of course you can shoot at 4k which is really not that great 4k but it's manageable Nokia also has the same thing if you actually power up the camera application here you do have of course the pro and and see it's pro settings and then of course this is just auto settings for you in the camera you also can uh, record video uh, photos and you do have the smart mode which gives you the ability to do all those auto modes by just taking one shot uh, so it's the same thing and I actually do like the one shot approach rather than the multi mode because even though the multi mode is cool and I can look for the modes what Nokia has here is I take one photo and it gives me all those different modes so I can actually go back and actually check out the different modes for the camera. So that's one thing I do like. And I think, again, that puts the camera off this. So if I actually went here, just to show you, I could go best shot, action, motion focus, um, you know, change face, remove objects, you know, whatever I wanted to do, I can actually do that. I think that actually sets this apart and makes this the better camera. So in terms of camera and camera software, I think, the Galaxy, uh, sorry, the Galaxy Note 3 loses and the Lumia 1520 wins on that department. All right, so let's talk about software. Now, we're not talking about Android and iOS. We're talking about software specific for the devices. So we're going to look at, at the Galaxy Note software from Samsung, and we're going to look at a lot of features uh, that uh, Nokia has brought to the table here with the uh, 1520. So both devices, of course, are our phablets. So uh, how do you take advantage of this real estate and screen size? Well, Samsung uh, pretty much has done this with the S Pen, and the S Pen really adds a lot to it. So you see you pull out the S Pen, you have that air command feature, and you can go into almost different applications here, which is very nice. It's got that floating feature, so you don't actually have to use the pen. And, of course, if we um, go in here, you also do have 
um, Galaxy Plus applications. You have Samsung applications that use it like the Action Memo. Um, and then if we head out about it, we have the uh, we have Sketchbook, Polaris, uh, uh, applications that actually will physically use the S Pen as well as S Note so you, and, and Scrapbook. So you do have a lot of applications in there. You also have the gesture controls, if, which I actually don't have on right now. But uh, it's started on the Galaxy S4, the gesture controls where you can use your hand to wave, turn it on, turn it off, things like that. You can actually use your device with it, which is very, very nice. And adds an extra element to the Galaxy Note 3. Now, with the Nokia Lumia uh, 1520 here, um, you have the slew of Nokia applications. And we slide here, we go to N, we can see all of them here. So we have Nokia Beam that allows me to beam any of my content to anyone that I want to. Of course, Nokia Camera, Cinemagraph, Creative Studio, the Mix Radio, which is very, very cool. You have the Refocus app, which allows you to refocus on different things. And that's also a very cool application. Storyteller, Trim Video, and Nokia Video Uploader, uh, which is nice. So all these applications are cool, but where it lacks, it lacks applications that take full advantage of the screen size. You do have uh, Pyre, which is the note application app so that, that allows you to take notes and write with your finger, but nothing really takes full advantage or uh, extra control. So for that, I actually give the winner to software to the Galaxy Note 3 because Samsung has packed in a lot of features here with the air gestures, the S Pen that take use of the full device and adds an extra element to it that uh, Nokia doesn't have. And I think that's just very plain and simple in that department. Now let's talk about gaming briefly. Now both of them have Snapdragon 800 processors and both of them have uh, more than, at least more than the gig of RAM. Uh, they both handle games very, very well, but I noticed the Lumia 1520 uh, didn't run as as hot as the Galaxy Note 3. It actually ran quite warm, so it was very cool. Uh, my main comparison, of course, was playing um, uh, the game Modern Combat 4, which is on both operating systems, and it ran very smooth on both, but it just I got less heat. So for me, I would actually take the 1520 as a better gaming device. Even though there are more games than Android, I'm just saying from my experience, at least using that one game uh, as a nice bridge comparison, there was less heat and I, I played for hours. Now we're talking about battery life. Both of them have big batteries. We've got a 3200 and 3400 milliamp battery in here and they last for a pretty long time. I give them props. I've gotten about 20 hours with the Galaxy Note 3 and I've gotten close to 24 at max with the uh, 1520. It's pretty much the same but the slight edge of course goes to the Lumia 1520 because the battery lasts pretty long and um, you know it's quite it's it's you know it lasts long and for a user I mean that that's a nice huge plus there. So on the battery life I will give that to the Nokia Lumia 1520. So uh, as we look at this video and try to round it up, you know, we've covered a lot of things. And if we go by just the points and numbers, the winner, winner is the Lumia 1520 on that. On points and numbers, I think Nokia has brought a lot of things in here to actually make this a very, very solid device. But my actual pick, is the Galaxy Note 3. Now, besides the things I had mentioned, it said this is more of an all-around device. This is a device that, yes, allows you to do more, even though it doesn't have the best of every single feature. So with the with the Note 3, you do have a very capable camera. You do have expandable storage, which is also similar to Nokia's, and you've got a very, very good battery. Now, it's not, it doesn't hit all categories. I know this kind of sounds off that I picked this. I picked this as a daily winner, but I would put this as a very a solid number one and a very strong number two. Also, the limiting factor of, he, of this device is the size that not everyone will be able to use the Lumia 1520. It's easy for me. I've got big hands. Most people just would say this is too big. So that actually plays against it in, in this battle video. And I think uh, people should understand that that also plays a factor into actually selecting this as the better device. Now, again, I'm not comparing operating systems. I'm not saying Android is better than Windows Phone. What I'm saying is that if I were to pick one of the two to use on a daily basis, even though this is what I use for a general audience, I would pick the Galaxy Note 3 because my, I'll, I'll go through the steps because, of course, the S Pen brings a lot of features. You've got the gesture controls. You've got solid performance on the device overall because the Snapdragon 800 processor. 
You also have expandable storage. You have a decent camera on here. And um, this also does just a very good job of being a very balanced device. And I think a lot of people will appreciate that. So that's our battle uh, battle vid here for the phablets on the market. And I think, you know, most of you should appreciate that. Our winner today is the Galaxy Note 3. And it won just because it literally was slightly smaller than this guy but if you have any questions or do not agree with me with this battle bit let me know what do you think do you think uh the lumia 1520 is a better device uh than the galaxy note 3 again this is not scientific guys you know i just picked one so let us know your thoughts then let us know what you think let us know which device you actually prefer uh in, in this battle vid but this is thunder e saying thank you and um, always enjoy your entertainment. Oh, I almost forgot to subscribe to all our channels, especially Board Gamers. We will be having a Hangout video tonight at Board Gamers uh, from 8 p.m. talking about the PS4 and the Xbox One. We're gonna have a nice battle talking about both devices because you know what? Uh, I prefer one over the other and I do have a couple of people who will be talking about the devices they have. So check that out, go to Board Gamers, subscribe to the channel, stay tuned at 8.15 p.m. We'll have a Hangout video. Uh, also subscribe to uh, Board at Work and to our contest. We do have a Hapag uh, giveaway and we have a Lenovo giveaway going on, uh, on right now. So do enter into those contests uh, uh, and hopefully you, you get to win one. So this is Thunder E again saying thank you and always enjoy your entertainment.